women, you don't need no man no more. Or at least that's what we're being told. At the same time this week that we honored Memorial Day, which statistically speaking is honoring mostly men so that all men and women can be free, we ladies were told don't have a spouse and don't have children, all in the name of happiness. It's the narrative of the oh-so-empowering she-woman man-haters club, not to be confused with the club of those cute little rascals. The Guardian newspaper, you know, that one across the pond, published a story with the headline, Women are happier without children or a spouse, says happiness expert. A behavioral scientist named Paul Dolan claims in his research at the London School of Economics that traditional markers of marriage and raising children in determining happiness is no longer true for women. And that means that women should not get married and not reproduce. Dolan said married people are happier than other population subgroups, but only when their spouse is in the room when they're asked how happy they are. When the spouse is not present, effing miserable. We do have some good longitudinal data following the same people over time, but I am going to do a massive disservice to that science and just say, if you're a man, you should probably get married. If you're a woman, don't bother. Okay, but to whom are those men marrying? And how exactly will the world's population continue without women having kids? Or, you know, the world ends in 12 years anyway, right? So we just shouldn't care. Dolan has a book called Happy Ever After that just came out, so he's making the rounds to push such a narrative, including that men benefit from marriage because they calm down, take less risks, earn more money at work, and live longer. So what I'm hearing is that being married is good for men and bad for women? Now it all makes sense. It's that dang patriarchy again. Women have been given this narrative for years. It's always the man's fault, and they just don't know how rough life is for the ladies. Just ask Busy Phillips. But like if men had their periods, it would be like f***ing celebrated. You know, it would be like a holiday. They would get the week off of work and probably the week before and then like the four days after their period ends so that they could recover. I, it would just be a different, it would just be a different, <laughs> different experience. But men do not get periods. Women get periods. Did she just say that only women get periods? How dare you? Clearly, Busy Phillips hasn't been reading her HuffPo in Daily Beast, and they know because they say so. But if these unmarried and childless women are so darn happy, why are they still claiming such victimhood? They have never been happier, according to Mr. Dolan. So what's all the victimhood about? Why are they the ones needing the constant affirmation that they are okay, just the way they are, and that, you know what, you go right ahead, you speak your truth? And why, oh why, do we have actress Lena Dunham getting naked to encourage people to love themselves? I'm really sorry for that. But this self-love spewing out of these women reveals that maybe they aren't as happy as they appear. All this data was self-reported, so it's quite easy for an unmarried woman with no children to fake being happy. We see it every day. It's called social media. The ones who appear to be having the times of their lives, partying every weekend, are also the same people who are crying into their pillows while snuggling their seven cats the other five nights of the week, wondering, just gosh darn it, why is life so hard? And they're found on Twitter, railing against a different answer to which women are the happiest. The New York Times opinion section, of all places, actually said something nice about people who aren't lefty loons. They recently published results of a study by seven professors that reveals women can be happily married, and the happiest wives in America are those who are religious conservatives. <laughs> the professors actually found that, quote, highly religious couples enjoy higher quality relationships and more sexual satisfaction than less mixed religious couples and secular couples. <laughs> but you shouldn't look at the data. Just listen to the Twitter users who will gladly tell you why they know more. Clearly, conservative and religious women are just dumb. In fact, People dumb enough to blindly follow a religion are happy because they don't know any better. Dummies are the most content. Thanks, Andy. Since progressivism is a religion of its own, then I guess we can say the same thing about everyone praising Busy Phillips and Lena Dunham, right? I think this all comes down to a difference in worldview. It's the religious conservative, or better said, Christian worldview, versus the progressive, self-satisfying, me, 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 earthly materialist worldview. These worldviews continue to be in direct opposition to one another, and it's why we can have counterclaims to which women are happy. It's all self-reported data. So let me know your opinions. 
based on your experiences, who's happier? Until next time, stay healthy, America.